ever since, just as Elisha said. Praise God. So when, I, when, I, when, when the Lord spoke to me about this uh, verse and uh, this story of Jericho in 2018, I remembered about our water here in Karen. I know there are many people who live in Karen. And uh, at least for us, where we live, we drilled a borehole in 2003. And when we drilled this borehole in 2003, uh, when the water was taken like for, to be checked uh, by, the, by, the, by the labs, they told us that we could not drink that water as it was until it was purified. So my husband, the deputy president, went into a venture and bought very expensive purifying machines. And that is what we have been doing purifying the water all the time before we, we, we can drink it or before we can use it. And I kept wondering, because the water, you could actually see the impurities. It was very impure. Now, we kept, you know, changing the filters, the filtration and that kind of thing. But the Lord kept reminding me about uh, this uh, word that, uh, that uh, what Elisha did. And I kept wondering and saying, supposing I go pray for this water, is it possible for it to be purified? That is what I kept telling myself. Now, this is what has been happening since 2003. Now, recently, the purifying machines had gotten problem, and I remember we spent a lot of money to buy. And I had called my team from Eldred to come and do it for us. And just after one week, again, the water was not clean. And I remember my, our boy at the residence was getting very frustrated. Now, I kept wondering, am I worthy? to do what Elisha did, just to go pray for this water. But then I kept thinking, maybe I need a pastor. Maybe I need a prophet. Maybe I need somebody else. And the Lord just kept reminding me about that. Now, on Wednesday, tell somebody Wednesday. Wednesday. On Wednesday, the other Wednesday. Usually Wednesday is our day of prayer and fasting. So I went to the office for a meeting, then I went for prayers, then I thought, let me go to the residence and see what is happening. So when I got there, the Lord reminded me about that water. You know what I did? I went to the kitchen, took a bowl, put salt, and went to the borehole. And I went and decreed the words of Elisha. I went and said, this water will never be dirty again. And I spread the water around the borehole. And actually it was, about it was about to rain. So I ran quickly and went to the house. And then of course I did whatever I needed to do. I came back home here. On Thursday, I went very shortly. And then um, I came back home here. On Friday, I went to the residence, uh, the other side. So I had some guests there. And I saw like the water was looking different. So I waited when the guest had left. I called the boy. I was like, Shadrach, what happened to the water? He told me, Mom, I don't know what happened to the water. The water is now clean. <laughs> Amen? And you know, <laughs> this is what he told me. He told me yesterday on Thursday, I had to call the other boys and whoever was in the compound to come and tell them, come and see. I don't know what happened to the water. And he told me something. He told me, Mom, I'm not even taking the water through the purification machine. I'm just um, pumping it from the borehole to the, to the tank. And we started giving God thanks. <laughs> Yesterday I was there. The water is still clean. Why am I saying this today? I want to give all the glory and honor to God. And to say that there is nothing that God cannot change. Amen? There is nothing that God cannot change. Thank you for coming here this morning. And I know sometimes as men of